Well, get out those brochures and write it down, <laughs> folks, because the city likes to call this Chamber of Commerce weather. Mm -hmm. Chamber of Commerce weather. There, and there you go. Mm -hmm. At yes. least for a while. Absolutely. Come on today. Make sure the brochure also says winter will return. <laughs> it also does it say that? <laughs> it is February. <laughs> it is February. Okay, no, yes. I, got, I got to read up. Okay. Right. Yes, it is. While you do back. that, I'll read up. All right. right. Sounds good. Well, let me show you what we had today. It didn't feel like winter this afternoon, did it? It was a great day despite a cold front moving in a northwest wind, but temperatures upper 60s to the low 70s across East Texas this afternoon. And as we look ahead to what's coming our way, we can expect these temperatures to increase, especially as we get toward Friday. Tonight they are going down. We're in the 30s for a lot of surrounding locations. We've got low 40s from Tyler to Longview. This 53 degree reading that's from the Cherokee County Airport south of Jacksonville. Downtown definitely into the 40s. As cold as 38 in Nacogdoches, 36 in Marshall. Overnight, We'll go to the low 40s, but outlying areas that are already in the 30s, you're down to about 34, maybe close to freezing, but I think most areas will stay above freezing as our wind will turn to the southwest. Talking about the next two days, first of all, your Thursday. I've increased our highs for tomorrow, lower 70s in the afternoon, still a few upper 60s, far northern areas up until the Texas Louisiana border, but everybody into the 70s by the time we get to Friday. Notice those highs there lower 70s, even a few mid 70s, 74, 75 or so. Not out of the question in deep east Texas, where we'll have more of a west component of the wind that would help us warm up a bit more. And then the changes move in starting Friday night, especially going into Saturday. Here's uh, Friday night for us. We've got that southerly wind cold front starting to move in. Temperatures, though, initially cooling down to the 50s, not too bad. We're definitely going to notice a shot of colder air here when we wake up Saturday morning. Clouds increase. A couple of isolated showers are possible. This is 8 a.m. Temperatures in the 40s and the 50s. Still a few lower 50s in deep east Texas. But during the day, we'll keep a mostly cloudy sky. Maybe a brief shower or two. We're going to keep about a 20% rain chance, but no concern for anything more than that. Otherwise, we're looking at a chilly Saturday. Temperatures in the 40s to the near 50 and a brisk north wind is expected. Take a look at the seven day forecast. The next two days are great, but then it turns colder as we get into Saturday. Those temperatures fall into the 40s and the 50s. Now on Sunday, a really nice day. We start but just below freezing, but we get close to 60 on Sunday afternoon, just in time for the big game here on KTK. But an even bigger day on Monday for Valentine's Day, temperatures right around 70. We've got a pretty strong cold front due here next Wednesday night into Thursday. That may bring a chance for some rain and storms. Look at deep east Texas, quite warm these next few days. And then Neil and Sarah, a 20 degree temperature drop going into the weekend. That roller coaster ride continues, Marcus. Thank you.